What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna be checking out why losses don't matter in WWE. If you guys know, wins and losses not really that prevalent, especially on the losses side. You would think if someone lose, they don't automatically at the next pay per view or the next event get an opportunity at the title. But there's a lot of times and situations, aka Drew, where they can end up losing, then beat somebody else, and now they're the number one contender. Never understood that. I remember at some point, um, I want to say maybe it was a few years ago, they were actually trying to keep record, I think, of the wins and losses, or maybe that's AEW. I think AEW tries to keep track of the record of wins and losses. I think AEW has, you know, kind of went with that route, but with wwe they they haven't really went that route you would think they should but they haven't and shout out to dub before i get uh, into this video he told me to give y'all a shout out man so shout out to dub man he wanted uh wanted to say hello to all y'all that are subscribed to me man and uh he you know, he appreciate y'all subscribing to his channel and the in the clutch page so we're gonna check this out man i be honest with you man i i do think if there's anything they could possibly you know take from AEW or you know it's inspired by AEW definitely the wins and losses so you can kind of get an idea of who's really doing what and in, in the company and you know it, it it just it gives that it gives it that legitimate feel so I want to see what he has to say about this wrestler in any wrestling promotion loses an important match, the internet wrestling community goes crazy. The hardcore wrestling fans, marks, or whatever you want to call them, are very quick to jump the gun and say that this wrestler or that wrestler is buried or yeah. ruined because of that loss. And I think that is a terrible way to look at it. It's completely wrong. In this video, I'm going to explain why I think wins and losses don't really matter too much in the WWE. WWE. Let's take a look at a perfect example. Drew McIntyre is somebody who's been Facts. recently losing some WWE title matches Facts. against Bobby Lashley. This caused many wrestling fans to complain online claiming that he has been ruined, which is not the case no. at all. Drew McIntyre may have lost those matches, but he is far from being ruined. The company is most likely going to insert him into a new storyline that's going to lead to some victories. Losing a few matches does not make or break him anyways. I think it's important for wrestling fans to understand this. Yeah, I, and I agree with him on that point. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like if you lose a match, per se, it doesn't mean you're buried. You know, now it depends on how you lost that match and in the fashion that you lost that match in. Like for those who remember Kofi Kingston going against Brock Lesnar when they move uh, SmackDown to Fox and then he got squashed. That was a burial because after that, he didn't even try to gain his title back. He just went back into mid card purgatory. I was like, all right, bro, that was that was pretty lame. That to me, that loss really signified his run was over you know i i didn't agree with that you feel me but like i was saying at the beginning of the video it would be cool to have that type of you know you know have that visual representation of this guy you know lost this many times or whatever to this person or whatever and i, I think it would be cool but i doubt they go that route but it would just be something different since WWE is predetermined, the writers and bookers can quickly change the momentum of a superstar for the story that they want to tell. With Drew McIntyre, they can have him win some matches and eventually earn a US title match against Sheamus if they want. On the contrary, if they don't want to go down that route, they could have him lose some more matches to tell the story that he's never been the same ever since losing the WWE mm -hmm, Championship. That way, they can take him and then move him over to SmackDown to give him a fresh start. Mm -hmm. The win or loss is essentially just a plot device to tell a story. It is nothing more than that. Too many wrestling fans get into it thinking it's deeper than it is. There are so many examples of wrestlers who have a ton of losses that are considered to be some of the greatest wrestlers to ever set foot inside a squared circle, True. and I'll name you some of them. Chris Jericho has a total of 833 losses Damn. in the WWE, and Triple H is also very close to that number with having 835 Damn. losses under his belt. Randy Orton also... Okay, well, now that kind of makes sense to my earlier point. Them visual, like, putting the visual representation of how many losses they have 
on screen like AEW kind of does. Yeah, it would be like, damn, this motherfucker lost 800 sometimes. But you also have to take into consideration that, you know, saying they've been in a company for a while. So maybe they could do something like reset after like each year or something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of trying to, you know, come up with ideas, you know, even though AEW does have this idea of tracking win and losses and they're supposed to matter. It's, it, it, it would be cool for them to have some type of freshness to how they're booked because now it's like, you know what I'm saying, someone's on a win streak, maybe they de- deserve an opportunity at a major title. Or someone's on a losing streak, maybe they, you know what I'm saying, maybe they start spiraling out of control and they start losing it, you know what I'm saying, and there's, you know, they, they turn heel because they can't get a win. Like, it would be cool if they focused more on that and it had a little bit more impact because you can lose in WWE and still have a title opportunity because of how they're booking you in the story. So Also has over a thousand L's in his record book. And on top of this list is Kane with the most losses in WWE history with 1,000 215 losses. Damn. I really believe that if social media was a bigger deal in the late 90s and early 2000s, so many people would have made some stupid statements claiming that those legends I just named were ruined or buried at one point in their career, and that is just an incorrect and ridiculous thing to say. The same thing is practically happening now with the modern day talents. I wanted to take a look at specific wrestlers where people constantly question WWE's booking, where in reality they really should not be doing so. Sami Zayn is probably the best example. The man has been losing a lot of yeah, matches in 2021. In fact, I think he won his first singles match at Hell in a Cell against Kevin Owens so. since December of 2021. Yes, this man has not won a single match since December, and that's seven months. Woo. With that being said, it is easy to say he's ruined, but he's not. WWE have purposely put him in a position to lose to further elaborate on the storyline mm. that there is a conspiracy against him. I think it's genius writing and he needs to suffer the losses in order for his character to develop. On the other hand, before this year, Sheamus was one of the biggest losers over the last year. In 2020, it was not a good year for our current United States champion because he lost notable matches against the likes of Jeff Hardy and Drew McIntyre, but none of that really mattered because when it came to pushing him into the US title picture, the WWE just booked him to win some matches and then he became a champion and now he's a credible badass champ. Matt Riddle is another name of somebody who was ruled as ruined yeah. from the first month of his career on the main roster. Thankfully, the writers found a new story for him and he's been picking up some wins with his tag team partner, Randy Orton. Cesaro has lost matches for the last decade Facts. to finally be given a chance for the world championship Facts. match in 2021 against Roman Reigns. Which it literally does not matter that he match. lost matches for the last 10 years. Kevin Owens is another really good example of somebody who can lose a bunch of matches and then end up in the world title picture with Roman Reigns True. when it's needed. At the end of the day, the wrestlers will win and lose some matches. That is going to happen, and fans should not be stressing out about their record. That just makes WWE's job impossible. People need to lose some matches, and that is perfectly mm -hmm. fine. That is life. We lose, we fail, we get up, and we move on. So many greats have lost WWE matches and have so many losses in their record book, and they were just fine. Anyways, that true. is it for the video, guys. This is true. Yeah, I, I, I agree with uh, uh, some of the points that he uh, dressed up. Um, I'm be honest with you. I still think they are important. You know, they should be should be important especially depending on the situation and the story that you're trying to tell because at the end of the day even though we know it's predetermined you want to give it that 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 serious feel you know what i'm saying with certain characters they take losses seriously like for example roman reigns roman reigns would take a clean loss very seriously his character wise because he hasn't lost a match since he came back so it's one of those things where it's like okay you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I think it would be cool for them to kind of expand that to to more of the roster. Like, or just in general, losses do matter, you know, in, in a sense. Like, people will lose, but it should affect how you move up in the card. I think that would be pretty cool. If you're losing all the time, 
you shouldn't technically be getting a title opportunity you know what i'm saying like it, it should be certain type of things that happen for you to get there or if the storyline demands it you know granted for example the ray mysterio situation should he have been facing for the universal championship no it should have been strictly just on the strength of you hurt my son so i'm here to beat your ass that's what it should have been you know what i'm saying and you could have had it work that way so i want to know i want to get your honest opinion do y'all think wwe should take the aew route and actually include like the wrestlers records for that year like at the beginning of every year or maybe at the you know how wrestlemania is pretty much like the restart for for wwe at the end of wrestlemania you restart their records or you know maybe at the beginning of the year you restart their wrestling records for that year should that be a thing or do you guys think it, it doesn't really matter and it should just stay stick the way it is wins and losses well wins are you know important losses don't really matter i would really like your opinion on this because i'm kind of torn I, I agree with what he was saying but i also think records should be at some point implemented so you understand like this person has the momentum or this person's on a downward streak or this person's kind of even they're winning matches and losing matches like i don't know i would i would be really interested to get you guys take on that but i appreciate all the love and support road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace